This is Coog and Cash's for IFL TV. We're in Hull here at the Ice Rink Arena. Is this what you called? Ice Rink Arena? Hull Arena. Hull Arena. Okay. What's wrong? Knee troubles. Oh, yeah. You're out of action, aren't you? Literally. Well, supposed to be, but when's the game for the old op? Little bit of keyhole. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you, this show surprised me tonight. In what way? I, I didn't really know what to make of like the bill. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. It's yeah. really, but it was a really good show. Yeah. I that thought was, I mean, Warrington and that was a brilliant fight. Towers, Towers against Lucas Brown. I don't really know what to say. It was like... He can obviously punch like a mule, Lucas Brown, but Towers looked like he was sort of bossing it with a jab and then got caught and he was all over the place. Mm. Um, and then Luke was in a brilliant fight. I mean, you know, I don't want to big my matchmaking up too much, but in terms of what he needed at this particular point in that his career, was, that was absolutely perfect. Say, yeah. and, you know, that kid, um, Lee Connolly, he's not a two wins fight. I mean, he's... I think probably sometimes I've got a little bit too much heart because I want to give that kid a win now. Do you know what I mean? Because he was absolutely devastated and he's he's you know, he boxed Appleby in his last fight and I, he could have won. It was it was like that. Mm. You know, and tonight he's boxed Luke. I mean he, you know um, I gave him two tickets for the Froch fight, I'm gonna take him to that and then we're gonna give him a win next year. Okay. Tommy Cole, stop it. Yeah, with, really uh, good. I mean Simpson. was it could it have gone? No, on? I think I mean, I just read my tweet. Someone said, "What you got to have a word with a ref?" I mean, look, you know, this is talking about people's health. You know, and the kid was cut. The kid was hurt. Was Simpson gonna win that fight? He was starting to tire. You don't want to see anyone get hurt. He gave it a really good go. Hit Tommy Coyle with some cracking shots. But for me, the difference was the weight. You know, Simpson stepped up for this weight, and he saw the opportunity. The payday come for him. But essentially, he's a super feather, and he'll move back down to super feather on the next Ricky Burns bill and we'll give him another shot there but he, you know he's a very good fighter but I think essentially the weight was the difference tonight mm. and Tommy Cole boxed well you know he's, he's gone away he, he was a more mature performance you know we needed that because Samir lost obviously and we needed you know we're building this thing in Hull so they've got to keep winning the boys you know mm. and I, I was impressed with Josh Warrington as well I thought it was uh, a really good performance. Uh, wins also for Redwood Monroe. Yeah, and looked well. Yeah, it looked good. Curtis was in a good fight as well. Yeah. Um, Zach Collins is like I think he's ready for a step up now. I mean, all these kids are not my fighters, you know. But taking Steve interest, Woods is happy, man. Yeah, Steve it? Woods is having it off at the minute. Yeah. He won a Commonwealth and IBF. <laughs> Brian Rose fighting for the world title. So listen, it's good. It's good to share the love around a little bit. And you know, I'm pleased to work with Ricky Hatton. You know, who's like an absolute legend of the sport and. You know, his fighter can progress now. I'm, I'm up for doing it. You know, I'm up for working with any promoter if the fights make sense and the maths make sense. Yeah. Is there room in your dates uh, for more stuff like this? Where, like I said, because this is this is a bit of a one-off because it's come between a really big Sheffield show and a really big show at the uh, Manchester, Manchester Arena. Yeah. So all of our fighters are in action and, and everyone knows when they're next out. So this was an opportunity, and I wanted to come back here and do something with a with Luke. And although Tommy's not officially in my fire, I like to think of him as someone we work with because of what we're trying to do in Hull. So, you know, and then the Lucas Brown fight come up and I thought, let's make some here against Josh Warren. You know, so it just rolls into one, really. It's, you're not really going to see a lot of this because essentially our dates will be for our fighters. Mm. But there will be shows where we can use other promoters and other managers' fighters. As we fighters do. from the cities you're fighting in. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, this was a unique in that we had one fighter mm. on, you know. Um, but we've got so many fighters they need to box but because of the two big shows in the middle uh, sorry either side then this was an opportunity to work with other people and give them a chance of, for a bit of TV and, you know the atmosphere was great atmosphere was yeah, actually you know what you said is yeah. like yeah. but w w when they got gang they, they just they chanted it's old school you know I've got a vision for boxing that I, w I do want to go to big arenas but you can't take away the rawness of something like this where you've got 3,000 people in an arena with a roof that's like double the size of you and me and a great atmosphere bringing it to a city that, that love the sport and are, are really pleased to have you here you know because we knock our cods off out all over the country to try and sell arenas and you know when we come here we you know we always get a great response um, so yeah you know I really enjoyed it and we're going to go back and have a couple of beers now we could I think so, yeah. Well, um, just quickly, um, obviously the monstrous punching Kennedy Golovkin fights yeah. tonight against Curtis Stevens. 
Uh, interesting fight because because Stevens can punch a bit himself. Yeah, it I, makes think, an interesting I think fight. I think Stevens going to have it. He's going to, uh, you know, he's going to have a real go. Uh, I think Golovkin will have too much for him. Um, but essentially, it's a great fight. You know, chance to see the Golovkin. People laughed at me on ringside when I said Frotch is not a fight he fancies. I'd like to see that as a direct quote somewhere. Like right. it's not. Listen. I'm not saying that Gennady Golovkin, people go, as if Golovkin's scared of Frotch. I'm not saying he's scared of Frotch. I'm saying yeah. that their team don't look at that fight and go, oh, that's one we fucking right fancy. They're, I'm not saying they wouldn't take it, but they know what kind of fight it would be. An absolute war. Mm. But first, we've got the Battle of Britain on November the 23rd that everybody's talking about. The cleaner in my hotel came up to me this morning and said, I watched that ringside in a week, saw you. Those two don't like each other, do they? We're the reaching one? out to the masses. The, the one you took home last night. <laughs> um. Um, all right, well, listen, I'm going to keep, keep the shot, but just quickly, you've got prize fight on the 14th. Yeah, 14th, um, so no, no, Joshua, Joshua and uh, yeah. James Tony, and you know, it's a little build up for uh, November the 23rd, the big one. Big one indeed. All right, well, listen, let's uh, crack on. Nice one, Kuki. And uh, we'll catch up with you next week right. on Monday. Kuki Cassius, Eddie Hearn here. Thank you.